nine and a half hours in. Which means we've been here for ten hours. Shall we do love questions now? Because that'd be great, because I can just continue eating my pizza. Uh, 9.40 till... Question marks. Um, Captain Buddy's is all honked up, apparently, which is great. Does that mean stinky? I think it means stinky. Um, 12.45... So we're going to do that for 45 minutes. I've just put some pictures on my Instagram, at Spike Pearson, P-I-E-R-S-O-N. Follow, follow. Wow. I've tagged Liam. Wow. He's on Instagram as well. Follow him, I guess. Taggy, taggy. Um, I'm going to continue to eat my pizza and you can't stop me. And if it makes you fall in love with me, well, that's too bad. That's two pizzas. The Joey special. Two, Two pizzas. pizzas. Um, that's a friend's reference that I make almost daily. Um, so, Cosmopolitan reckons there's eight ways to make a man come and zero ways to make a woman come. Um, so I will not subscribe to that. Uh, that's what it said. Where? Oh, earlier. Um, so, <laughs> it reckons... <laughs> Oh, it's all blurred. Oh, yeah, you were busy. You were doing something else. I was, I was, I was multitasking. Uh, Cosmopolitan reckons. So, no, why is it blocked? Because it wasn't blocked. Early. Notifications are blocked. What does that mean? It means you won't get notifications. That's good. I could read this earlier. It says continue reading. If you go up to where it says continue reading, it'll probably explain things to you. I mean, I'm absolutely not going to do that. Is it because you looked at it earlier, it's now saying that you're looking at it again, which counts as a separate oh, time? Oh, piss. Probably. Um, love questions. Uh, Genuinely, me. I thought that you were going to open it on the other monitor and that was going to work. No. Why would it? Oh, is this exactly the same thing? Why are we paying for love? Why... Have we agreed to pay. to pay for love? I'm in the habit of Googling things on the other screen just in case porn shows up. Um, 325 questions to ask your boyfriend in every situation. <laughs> every single situation needs 325 questions. Okay. I pick, think he'd leave. Pick a situation. You look that way. Funeral. Pick uh, well, I was going to pick a thing and then we say it at the same time, so... Oh. Um, okay. Pick a thing. Got one. What's your situation? Dentist. What keeps you awake at night? Dentist. <laughs> pick another situation. Okay. Are you ready? Um, yes. Spearfishing. What's something you've always dreamed of doing but never have? Spearfishing. Wonderful. Pick another situation. Okay. Go. Uh, the Bridge of Ecstasy. What was your biggest travel mishap? See, this works. This is it great. was the Bridge of Ecstasy. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, so, my read on this is that we just stare into each other's eyes, say the questions, and then that's it. But okay. I don't think that's the thing. So, do we take it in turns? Oh, there's so many of these. There's 36. Do we answer... Liam Ben. It says, Liam, hang on, ben, look, Liam it says ben. the experiment of us. <laughs> Two strangers can develop an intimate connection by asking each other a series of increasingly personal questions. So we ask, we both answer the question, I think. Mm -hmm. So, given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? Sounds <laughs> Because it's the only person that might not get violent around you when you're eating <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's an impressive mouthful of pizza. Thank you. Um, Dandy. Dandy. <laughs> Magazine from the 90s. It was a comic book. It's still going, but the, well, you said Gandhi, right? Given the choice of anyone in the world, who would you want as a dinner guest? Um, um, I asked that. You said, Dan you said Gandhi. You said Dandy Gandhi. It was a, wasn't a real 
real answer, Ben. Um, I'm eating pizza. I think Devon Brown has been on my list for quite some time. What oh. would you talk about? You can um, say magic. I guess, maybe. I don't know. Presumably, There's, you don't plan conversations at dinner, do you? Maybe. They just sort of, they just sort of happen. Hopefully, <laughs> it would just sort of happen. Um, hey Omar, you yeah, haven't missed anything. Don't oh, worry. Miriam Margulies. Miriam Margoyles. Miriam Margoyles. She's made yeah. of gargoyles. Miriam. That's a good get, one. Let's get. Yeah. Um, that'd be a laugh. My first inclination is to pick someone I don't like so that they can be trapped in the dinner environment and be like, I'm just going to get the entrees and then just fuck off. And Nigel Farage is trapped in my house. You said Gandhi. Do you not like Gandhi? He was a wrong un. Do you want to have Gandhi ruined for you live on air? Is it about the fact that he said that his religion was against using medicine when his wife was ill and then she died and then when he was ill he was like, nah, it's fine and then he was okay? I mean, that's bad, but no, there is worse stuff. Okay, you were the one who picked him to go to dinner. I just thought that would be a really funny thing to say with my mouth full. Oh. What's the actual answer? Um, Hugh Laurie. Cool, next one. Would you like to be famous in what way? Um, I'm just going to eat some pizza. Kind of, but not in... Oh, uh, yes, but not in a way that meant that I couldn't leave the house mm -hmm. or go shopping or anything like that. Um, Ronnie Barker would go on holiday with his family and stay in the hotel room because he couldn't walk down the street without people... Getting him, basically. Offering him four candles. Um, yeah, more or less. Uh, in a way, I... Mm, We've definitely had this on the podcast before. Yeah, I think so. I wouldn't... My... Uh, I don't know. I'd like to be influential, but not like... Instagram... People who call themselves influencers. influencers. Yeah. But I would like to be able to, you know, maybe if I wanted to book a restaurant or something, maybe if I go, oh, it's it's me. Then they go, oh, actually, no, we do have availability. Even though they just said that they didn't. Something um, like that would be cool. But not like hyper famous where anything that goes on in your life immediately yes. gets printed well, in that shitty kind of, rag papers. That kind of celebrity doesn't really exist now in the same way that it used to like there are still elements of that but i think that kind of press is, is dying off um and people are more likely to be cancelled for saying something horrendous on a live stream rather than like oh she fed her kid a kebab what a bitch um so to i think i think there is less of that these days and i think people are which is the point i'm gonna get on to um, people are kind of famous and well-known within niches. Mm. So, like, for example, I think when we did this on the podcast, we said, like, a great example to me is Game Grumps. Game Grumps aren't so famous that they can't go to Europe and, like, just walk around, enjoy Edinburgh, for example, and get noticed a million times. It might happen once or twice, but not like Ronnie Barker in, yeah. in, in the 80s. Um, but to a very specific group of people... They are like if they walked in the right room, yes. they could get swamped. So they probably know exactly what kind of bars and restaurants they can and can't go to based on the kind of people that are likely to go there. So, to me, like I don't think fame exists now in the way that it did in the early two thousands. I just don't think we have that. Uh, in order to be like famous and be a household name, you would have to literally be a member of the monarchy. And even then, like, the top five. Or Michael McIntyre. Or Michael McIntyre. You'd have to be a chat show yeah. host, perhaps. You'd yes, you'd, you'd have to do, like, if it was in comedy, you'd have to have a regular spot, like, on um, Live of the Apollo, those kind mm -hmm. of things. So I... Famous in that sense? No, absolutely not. That sounds awful. What I want, I think, fame is a byproduct of, perhaps. So I... I want to be able to support myself and earn a living doing creative things. Sure. I think an element of that 
in order to do that, you have to have a degree of fame. For example, like, the podcast wouldn't make money if people didn't listen to it and have enough people listen to it that some of those people will choose to patronise us. So it's not that, and thank you for also buying t-shirts. Um, so fame isn't... He does love that bed. Oh, there's the garlic burps. Um, so fame isn't the reason for doing the podcast, but fame... Is an it's element, a byproduct. It's a byproduct that helps support and spur on. The yeah, podcast. I don't like it when people go, "Yes, I want to be famous," and then for someone what? says, "What for?" And then they go, um. "I want to be, I want to be uh, respected in a certain field. I want to contribute to a a public dialogue about certain things. For example, comedy. For example, uh, filmmaking, music, podcasting. These things that I enjoy doing." Um, fame would be an element of that but I don't want to be famous for its own sake because I'm not a psychopath mm. um, I also in what way like really important to me is having control of why I'm famous so like owning the platforms that I am famous on so for example if um, if Acast disappeared we could move the podcast to a different hosting platform and it would still be provided through the same apps, it wouldn't be a problem. Spotify could disappear, we're still hosted on Apple and, and all the other apps, it's not a problem. So having control of where you appear and control of your fame and have the degree to which you are famous essentially owned by you so that if you did want to just not be famous, you could kind of make that happen. Yeah. You know? Whereas if, like, tabloid press and, like, uh, shitty magazines... Shitty magazines. Shitty magazines would kind of be like hounding people um, who are like these B-level celebrities to try and get any story out of them because that's what drives that particular media. That's not something you have control of. And I totally get like, obviously there's there's problems with saying you sympathise with Harry and Megal. 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 My, uh, that's a portmanteau of Megan. Megal Mark. Craggle. Um, Megal. It's, it's hard to sympathise with them when they have the wealth and opportunities that they have, but I totally get that it must be a, a bastard to actually not want to be famous, but still very mm. much have to be part of the public eye. Don't think, you, if you don't want to be famous, going on telly and saying that a lot is probably not the best way to go about Worldwide it. Worldwide privacy tour. Mm -hmm. So there, there are, but I suppose for them, they've never not been famous, both of them, for various reasons, so True. it's hard to not... That was a very long window. That was really long. Thank you. Um, so long. <laughs> so, would I like to be famous? Yes, but only if it's within niches that I want to be famous in, and it's only if I have control of that. Before making a phone call, do you ever rehearse what you're going to say? Yes, because I don't want to look like a twat. Fair enough. I want to make sure that I get the information I need, and I want to make sure that I don't... I don't know, book myself for a colonoscopy when what I want is an asthma inhaler. It's the wrong end. Um, so yeah, absolutely. And also I have anxiety about talking on the phone because I think I rely on reading body language quite a lot and if I can't read someone's body language, I don't really know what to do. Fair enough. Um, so yes, no, I absolutely do. Uh, sausage. You've lost a little bit of sauce. Well, no one saw. Now you ask me. How about? Yeah. Before making a telephone call, driver has what you're going to say. That bit of sausage was not big enough to warrant. <laughs> it um, was incredibly flavourful. <laughs> Very salty. Uh, mm. Not really. Oh, okay. I don't think so. Like, if it's a big, long list of things, then I've probably thought, oh, I need to make this phone call to talk about this, this, and this. Right. Um... But I don't think that I'd. Yeah, not not of, not often. Okay. If I did. Um, and why? I don't think I make phone calls very often. No. I or if to. I or if I do, then it's like a. Uh, ringing you and being like, "Hey, we need to talk about this weekend." Yeah. And then we'll have a conversation and be like, "Okay, cool." Yeah. 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 Um. What would constitute a perfect day for you? Something quiet. Oh, yeah. Something that doesn't end up in... Jail. A hundred other jobs. I yeah. would like a chance to sit down and do 
very little without shit ton more jobs turning up because that's yes. normally what happens. Omar wants to know what we had on our pizzas. Cheese. Uh, lots of meat and cheese. I, got... I had ten whole olives, which are a fruit. Because <laughs> they have seeds. Uh, we got garlic dip. We were not asked what dip we want. It's garlic. Uh, I also got some chicken things, which are just covered in garlic. And there's some potatoes, which I think are also mostly garlic. Um, lovely, lovely pizza. Fire, fire, fire away. Hmm. Pew, pew, pew. Um, I think I'm the same. Um, I... Oh, I need to not take ages answering these very, very easy questions. Uh, they are really nice, actually. I'm a big fan of Fire Away. It's over there. Just ducked myself, didn't I? Pointing at the Fire Away. Yeah, but um, we might have flipped the screen. My t-shirt is written backwards. I collide Deb. Trying to do I like bed backwards. Achille, Achille Deb. <laughs> Yes. Deb. It's okay. Deb. I, I would love to... Yeah, a perfect day for me is, is like uh, maybe going to go uh, have a picnic and swear at the ducks. That's something that me and Laura do quite often. Um, maybe watching movies or playing games and just, yeah, chilling out, not doing anything, but crucially not having to worry about deadlines so, you know the whole thing of when you go on holiday, you have to work really hard to make sure you've not got any work that's due while you're away. Mm. Or to make sure that once you get back from your holiday, you don't have to immediately start doing loads of work. Yeah, I don't like Cause, that. Because otherwise you're going to stress about that on your holiday. So if there's, if I can have that, I can have like no worries about, oh, there's loads of stuff to do. Uh, that would really help me enjoy a perfect day. When did you last sing to yourself... And when did you last sing to someone else? I think both today within the last 12 hours. Yeah? What were you singing? I don't know. I tend to just sing... I think, I think we... I'm just almost certain that if you go through the stream, we've sung something. I've probably sung swear words at you, the audience. And just at me, the me. You, the you, myself. Um, yeah, no, I sing... Um, if I'm just going about my day, I'll I'll just not even like proper melodies. I'll just sing like words like um, "It's a fuck." That's an example of one. Um, another one would be. It does count as singing. Um, ben. I think we both kind of just do that. Oh, you little piece of fuck! <laughs> in the way, get out the way while we're doing tasks. Yes. That, if that makes more sense than fuck, which is something I also do. Um, that's a spicy meatball. I would say mo I would say pretty much every day. <laughs> yeah. Probably both. Uh, um, if you were able to live to the age of 90, we've done this one. If you were able to live to the age of 90 and retain either the mind or body of a 30-year-old for the last 60 years of your life, which would you want? Mind or body. Uh, I, I would stick with mind, probably. I think mind, because if you have the body but you don't have the mind, you don't know what body you have. Mm, yeah. Easy. Do you have a secret hunch about how you will die? I do have loans that I haven't paid, so in that way, yes. I drink a lot and don't eat many vegetables. I've eat, Most of this week I've just eaten cheese and bread in some version. Hey man, you ate che fruit Cheese, just meat and... Yeah, but that was on cheese and bread. It's normally cheese, meat, and bread it's over, the, over like vegetable. the last week. I need to make sure I have more veg. Mm. My doctor says it's all right. I'm, I'm all good on the inside, but I don't know how. I don't know how long that will last. Probably not if I'm not to the age of ninety. Um, or it'll be something stupid. I'll press the wrong button on a lift, and the bottom will fall out, or something. I don't know. If it, um, that's a design. Uh, do you know what? I think the answer to that one's not really. I could, I could probably guess about five things, but I could. It'll be an accident, or it won't be. Probably be something I've done to myself. Um, 
I don't really have a secret, well, not a secret hunch anyway. Um, my father's side have a history of heart disease. Um, and my mother's side don't. 50 50, then, isn't it? So, um, I think there's maybe Alzheimer's on that side. So, it's it would probably be heart disease before it's Alzheimer's. So, I'm trying to, like, you know, I don't think you can do much about Alzheimer's. I think. From what I understand, they're on the verge of oh, various breakthroughs with Alzheimer's. I think if it gets caught early now, they've uh, with recently they've um, been able to like slow it by thirty percent. I think I read somewhere, or I was told someone had read somewhere. I think there's a greater percentage increase. Yeah, they on, they on can the slow it down a lot more yeah. uh, than they could. So that and up until recently, Alzheimer's is kind of out of my hands. Heart disease less so so i mean that's why i go to the gym like i'm not trying to get shredded i'm trying to like not die yeah and part of that is not having fire away every night mm. and eating vegetarian twice twice a night twice a night three meals two of them vegetarian um name three things you and your partner have in common uh for this two testicles and a penis mm, well you're half right Two penises and a testicle. <laughs> Two penises and a vegetable. Um, um, we, we both have a podcast. I, I was going to say sense of humour. Oh. Yes. One, please. Uh, we both enjoy video games. We both are critical of other ethnicities. <laughs> We both think I'm charming. <laughs> Do you want to try again? Uh, climate denial? Not climate change denial. I Just denying climate. of climate. Don't deny climate. We deny climate. How is it outside? Not. Not. Nope. There's one. Uh, yeah, no, we've got loads in common, idiot. Uh, we're both wearing t-shirts. For now. Uh, <laughs> We both have both our knees out. Mother Brown. We are both wearing shorts. We both had I'm pizza not for wearing, dinner. I'm actually not wearing shorts. They're uh, arms, they're but arms I roll them up. up. I roll them up. Um, so my poops don't fall out. Because <laughs> if I wore shorts, they'd just go over them. <laughs> just rattling around in there like a shitty maraca. Oh, dear. Uh, for what in your life do you feel most grateful? Friendship. <laughs> nah, this last bit of pizza though, probably. Okay. Um, it's so salty. Um, most grateful. Um, Laura's okay. Nice. See, because I did say Laura. <laughs> you got so followed up with is okay. As long as I don't um, say a second thing. It's, she wins. That's, that's a, it's difficult. It is. I mean, it's a. Thank you for the salt. Um. That I'm less depressed than I used to be. That's good. Yeah. That's a win. Which, uh, yeah, it. It's a short list when you've got depression, but I'm not as depressed as I was. So I'm gonna say that one's progress. It's good. Um, if you could, if you could change one thing about the way you were raised, what would it be? Um, the parents. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what that's asking, isn't it? Um, because your parents did it. That is a what did your rents do wrong? Yeah, no, it is really, and, and that's a whole kettle of fish. I think that the main thing, the thing that kind of um. Is is eh, not a problem, but it but is relevant to like me now. Um, just being relentlessly anxious about things that do not matter. Yeah, and that stuff that like is so ingrained in me now that like I have to um, like physically work to get over it, and I don't think most people do. Um, but that that comes from a obviously that comes from a place as parents 
where they're just trying to protect me. But long term, that has not been helpful. So it's the sort of thing that's like, I wish you hadn't, but I know you were trying to mm. do. There is the stuff. poem, They Fuck You Up, Your Mum and Dad. Yes. Um, I mean, as a child of divorced parents, yeah. I could list most things that from the age of like 11. Right, okay. So, but, you know, that wouldn't have been a good thing. Like, I don't know, that's tricky. Uh, I would have. If, if the nature of their divorce was more amicable or there was less. I don't want to assume that there's like a combative nature between them, but like, I'm sure there's elements of that in most divorces, no matter how amicable. Yeah. I would, um, I would imagine that there must be, because otherwise it'd still be a marriage, wouldn't it? You'd think so. Um. Uh. Yeah, I like what you said. <laughs> Great. Um, take four, I'm going to time you. Take four minutes and tell your partner your life story in as much detail as possible. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> Skip. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not doing that. All right. Um, if you could wake up tomorrow having gained one quality or ability, what would it be? Uh, time like... travel. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say like focus more. <laughs> Idiot. But yeah, I could Idiot. be magic. I'd like to be fire resistant. I'd like to be magic. Brain of panther. Acid wow. proof. Acid what? Acid proof. <laughs> proof. <laughs> R proof. Proof. Um. Yeah, I'd be magic. <laughs> like proper, I'll be a genie. Like proper. Yeah, I'd be a genie. Um, I would have the ability to grant wishes. Wizard dick. Wizard dick? Yep. Would it have a knob on the end? It would have to. If a crystal ball, speaking of which, could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, the future, or anything else, what would you want to know? Uh, lottery numbers. I think it has to be more about you. About yourself, your life, the future, okay. or anything else. Oh, anything else. That's pretty broad. Um... Yeah, lottery numbers. Because that's the thing. Like, if I if I had the infinite money cheat, I could fix a lot of the problems that I have, not just in my life, but possibly quite a few other lives. Yeah. So if you just gave me a big pile of cash, I feel like I'd be able to allocate that appropriately. So yes, uh, lottery numbers, please. Um, is there something that you've dreamed of doing for a long time? Why haven't you done it? Um. I mean, loads. Yeah, my like, my first loads. one is I would I'd like to go to the Galapagos Islands and see the big tortoises. Uh, why haven't I done it? Money, money, as per previous, uh, as per everything else. Um, uh, yeah, I would say experiences like going. Um, yeah, going places. Seeing things, and it's because I don't have the money at the moment. I would love to do this pod, not the twenty-four hour version, but the a conversation hat or some kind of live comedy type show. I think that'd be wonderful. Reasons for not doing it: one, money; uh, two, just not big enough yet. If you gave us a large pile of money, we could fix that. We were going um, to go. We were going to start doing live shows in twenty twenty. Yes. And I think everyone knows how that year went. Well, we didn't do any live shows, let's put it that way. No. We're also going to start a zine. That's the punk magazine thing, right? How do you not know about zines? Because I asked you earlier and you were very vague. But they're quite uh, quite culturally big. I big still don't know what it is. Okay, so imagine... Imagine That's a zine. Self -pub self published non commercial print work that is typically produced in small limited batches. That's why I don't know what they are. It's zine because it's MAGA zine. That's what, yeah. that's why I don't know what that yeah, so there's a magazine. Yes. 
but they're they're normally like quite DIY. But like, so you wouldn't know of an individual zine, of course you wouldn't. But you might know of the concept of a zine, because quite a lot of people have tried to get a zine going. I didn't. I didn't know that those were things that would still. I that would have been a booklet or a magazine mm. to me. Um, it would so you wouldn't subscribe to a booklet. A booklet would be like a standalone thing. A zine is something that you get like monthly, weekly, hourly, whatever. Um, and they're quite big, especially in music scenes. And you lived in a hippie commune for eight years. I feel like you should probably know about zines. Nah. I know that you ignored those people, but still. I didn't ignore all of them, just the bits just of paper the they handed me. Just the zine. <laughs> He's very hard to indoctrinate, <laughs> is Ben. Very hard to radicalise. What's um, this? You want me to read things? Absolutely not. What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? Oh, um... Yeah, that's a hard one. There's been so many. Oh. Um... Wow, I'm trying to think of something big and impressive, but... Go on. What about you? There's quite a few. <laughs> we seem to have the opposite problem. <laughs> uh... Because it's... It's tricky because the stuff that I... Think is really cool... Other people don't. And the stuff that... Um, people tend to react to isn't the stuff that I'm necessarily like proud of or think is a big deal. For example, um, being like an occasional guest on the BBC to talk about music and music education, that's something I, I, I have and will continue to leverage to get other cool opportunities. So that's quite a big one. Um, being in like local newspapers talking about films I've made or like um, music I've released, that's the sort of thing that you tell your grandparents. Look, I'm doing stuff. I'm in the paper. That's mm. how big this stuff is. But the thing is, I'm not proud of being in the paper. I'm proud of the thing that they are talking about in the paper. But I can't say, "Hey, Grandma, watch this stupid cowboy film." Yeah, because they don't quite because they get won't it. get it. But they'll get. Oh, he's in the paper. Yes, yeah. I, I exp tried to explain to my 91-year-old grandmother uh, yesterday what it was we were doing today. And she was like, I don't get what you do. I'm like, it's sort of like live telly, but a lot longer and <laughs> on the internet. Yeah. I And I think that she was sort of like, oh, okay. It is It is funny, like, the kind of... um. Yeah, the, the, the explanations you have to do. I am... Um, I just told my parents, I'm just filming a lot. I'm filming late into the night, and I'm filming early in the morning, so I will not be accessible for a bit. Fair. So, technically true. Um, um, yeah, yeah. I, I've been in a lot of stage shows. You have. We've done a lot of pretty cool stuff. You good? I'm good. Uh, Maybe the paper for it. I'd say yeah. stage stage things. Maybe not greatest accomplishment of your life. Greatest accomplishment for the podcast. Having Tez on was great. Mm-hmm. Um, Tony Law was great. I wish we had a little more time. Um, Ashens was great. Did you know gaming were great? I really enjoyed having Paul Foxcroft on. Uh, Izzy Lawrence was great. Um, I really need to poo. Done. Well, you did roll your trousers I up. I did roll my trousers up. I'll be right back. Uh, crack on. With. Yeah, ask with yourself a lot of Finding questions. out if oh, we're no. in love. Do <laughs> whatever you want. Yeah, you can find out if we're in love. I'll be in the other room. Uh, what do you value most in a friendship? Regular. Being regular. Yeah, it's important. Like pooping. Okay, he's gone. 
Let's play some bets. How long is Liam going to be pooping for? It's 12-12. It's just turned 12-12. Um, I'm going to say he will be back... Well, I don't know. Let's, let's, I don't know how, how his diet is. Let's say 12-16. I think that's enough time for... Six minutes. Captain Buddy, you're saying 12 or 18, two minutes after I suggest, well, I've suggested. Let's have a little look, see. Nine forty to huh? And huh? What's happened here? That's oh, not the right time. What should we do? Let's ah. Uh... Look at them. He doesn't like ducks. Oh, those little boys. Uh, with a bit more heads up, I could have done something else. Let's go with... Uh... Play Tetris. Who's the fave duck? Uh, Daffy. Daffy's pretty cool. Donald. I remember Darkwing Duck. That was like Batman, but a duck. I think that was Saturday morning TV in the late 90s. Possibly even early 90s. It was quite some time ago. How about you, Captain Buddy? Who's your favourite duck? Everybody tell me your favourite ducks. Hoisin Crispy. Hoisin Crispy duck's pretty good. Terry, of course. Why would it be any... <laughs> any other duck? How's New York, by the way? <whistles> yeah, I imagine it's not cheap. When I went, it was a decent exchange rate for the old pound. But that was many moons before... Whoa, that wasn't good. Uh, the economy went shitty. Yeah. I can't imagine it being cheap. Uh, cheap cool with all of those big old metal buildings keeping all the warming everywhere and I went in February and there was snow all over the place but I was still just walking around in jeans and a t-shirt don't ask me how that works I'm not a scientist more's the pity I know I would like to be a scientist 33 degrees. I think to... Oof. I mean, I think it was only like 20... 3, 24 here today. But the studio is hot as balls. Duck, Bill Blackpuss, Count Duckula, both very good ducks. Well... Yeah. Duck, build platypus.
Do you prefer Count Duckula or would you prefer or what about Nanny? Nanny's a duck. She's not the titular duck, but I nearly said that duck got some tits, but that's just crass. Huh, that's horrible. Make it stop. How has everyone's evening been? How is we doing? How is we doing? There we go. We were asked questions about how often do we sing earlier. That often. So often that we've not even finished. Oh, it's too quick. Oh, no. Do you want a drink? I didn't know what to do, so I looked at pictures of ducks and uh, started playing Tetris. Uh, yes, please. Do you want a drink you want? The the monster. I'm also gonna have a monster. <gasps> I know. That now all the monsters gone. Yes, but there's plenty of rubble. Yeah. Eh. I mean, I know they all basically taste the same, but. Yeah. You put cocaine in yours. I don't have any. Idiot! Didn't bring cocaine to a live stream. It's like bringing a gun to a knife fight. A bad idea. I got bored. Yeah. There. <coughs> You're welcome. Um. Was Nanny a hen? I thought. I thought they were all ducks. You've got to get your hands in a row, Bam. It's been a long time since I've watched Darkwing Duck, to be honest. Uh, Count Duckula, whatever one. Yeah. Whatever Which, duck. Whichever one Sky, had. Whatever duck. Ooh, that's fruity. Google Nanny from uh, Count Duckula. Nanny is a truck. Uh, Tritagonist. Well, 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 well. She's a un she's very large, strong, unintelligent hen. You were right. Yes. A large, strong, unintelligent hen. Mistakes catch up for blood in the reincarnation ritual, resulting in the current Count Duckula. Fair enough. Ooh. Deuteragonist. Old Deuteragonist. Well, the second most important cat. Very, i quite pleased that <laughs> I was thinking I was just had old Deuteronomy. Yeah. Talking about singing earlier, and I was on twice since you went to poop. Ah. Oh, what was the time? I was, oh! I was singing to my Liam poop. was eight minutes. Eight minutes of was pooping. Okay. It had just gone 2012. And now it's well twenty two twelve even. Wow. Um, uh, uh, what do you most value in a friendship? Um, hard to choose like one thing because I think there's um, there's like a selection of things that I th I think are important. There's a, there's things that combine. Um, I think like honesty. Honesty is a tricky thing because people do kind of weaponize honesty. Like people who say, "Like, oh, I'm just honest. That's how I am." You can no, honest. but you can you cannot say you're being a prick. You can be honest without being a dick about it. Um, it. Like, oh, I'm just honest. I just speak my mind. Like you could just shut up and not be an asshole. I think part of honesty is, is acknowledging that you can feel ways about things and other people can disagree, but that doesn't have to be a problem. Um, and I think there's certain things like being honest and open enough to like set boundaries for example hey that thing you said really bothered me i'm happy to be friends but we just we can't have those con conversations mm. or i like you but you did this thing that upset me we need to not 
get into that situation again. So I think that's uh, that's an openness. Th that's I think. openness. Yeah, I think I think that's. I'm terribly sorry to interrupt you, but in a moment it's going to be twenty two, twenty two, twenty two, and I'm just going to let's just take a little moment to look at the time and appreciate six little ducks. Yay! Gone. That was actually quite nice. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, we yeah, we'll so do it. We'll do it in a, again in about an hour. We can have 23, 23, 23. Oh, I look forward to it. Hey guys, it's about to be 22, 22, 37. Yay! Hey. Achievable goals. <laughs> um, I think. Yeah, just being open. Oh, look, 44. Like, 40, 40, 40. That's why. Ah. That's going to go 47. Yay. Um, being honest about the things that like upset you, that sort of thing, I think is quite important. I think that's. Um, I don't know if I'd call that a value because I feel like that's quite fundamental to being friends. But I think, especially with um, straight guys, we historically haven't had a lot of success communicating feelings. So I think it's worth kind of putting that on a pedestal and being like, look, this is a value that is important. So that we kind of try to um, foster that kind of behavior and hopefully try to get rid of some... Um, Toxic bullshit. Uh, sounds pretty line. gay. It does sound get not as gay as a dick in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's tell not it as is. gay as a I dick in the ass. Tell how it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, we've got a slight delay on that screen. <laughs> so I just looked over I'm just in time this, to see. Wait, this around? No, it's a dick in the ass. And now we're doing it there. i got to stop playing. What is happening? Get that out of my. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not okay if you say no. Um, you? Yeah, openness. I think something to be able to be yourself without worrying. Yes. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a weird thing. Oh, just be yourself. It's a very difficult thing to do if you've been in situations where you have attempted to be yourself and people have been dicks about it. Um, yes. Or no, oh, I had a thing to say. Oh no. We're out of focus. That's um, that's to make us look pretty. Oh, it's the uh, season one RuPaul's Drag Race soft focus, is it? Where they put lem sip on the lens. Yeah. <laughs> I don't to, mean... co to cover it, to cover up the fact it was filmed in a basement. Yeah. Okay. I, that now we can't see either of us. This is. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna say openness because I think with that. Um, with that openness, honestiness thing, um, yeah, you can feel relaxed and comfortable because of those things. I yes, Deffers, Deffers, Jeffers. Um, what is your most treasured memory? Um, anyone that I can, any of them, anyone that I can remember anyone. that doesn't make me feel sad. Any of them that don't. My memory away from is me. terrible. Treasured memory. Um, I don't know because my memory's really bad. I don't, I don't ever do something and then go. I need to remember this. I must treasure it and keep it in a little brain box. There's some things that I've that I I've gone to do that have been really cool. Um. What do you mean by tre what what does treasure mean? Is, is that something that like implicitly that's something that you think of often and it gives you like solace? I think that's enjoyment. what it's implying, but I don't really think that way. No, I try to do stuff in the here and now that makes me feel good. Um um It's tr it's tricky because things I I uh, I can ruin things for myself quite easily. Yeah, oh, yeah. But like, there's a lot of memories that I have which were nice, and then I would think of like, oh, but I don't really speak to that person anymore. Yeah. And then that memory is then 
has still has, has, has yeah. part of the shine taken off of it, maybe. And I know that that's not a way that people should think, or the way that I should think, or that but everyone thinks. But if that's how thinks, you think, that's, that's, yeah. It's, um, I don't think it's a massive problem, but I'd like to be able to remember things fondly without... Yeah. Sorry, I I'm just seem to have settled in a position that's got a very noisy... I can give you a, I can give you an undercarriage of spritz with WD-40. What about the chair? Whee! It can wait its turn. Um, Going to see Game Grumps. Uh, both times, I think that was that, that was, was really fun. cool. I couldn't hear shit the second time. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Who are these guys? The, grave, the why, grumpy game. Why is that one grumpy? He seems fine. The other one, he doesn't seem so grumpy. He doesn't seem so grumpy. What? What's that Irish fella? That Irish guy with the <laughs> with reading the, his book about some he's blow grumpy. Job there. He's grumpy. Um, you had to be there. My most treasured memory, truly, is not working at that fucking school anymore. Mm. I I think of that daily, and I go, oh yeah, Whew. yeah. I still have like anxiety dreams about that place, and then I wake up going, oh yeah, no, I backed it in. We're all good. Um, what is your most terrible memory? You want to skip that one? Yes. My trauma buddy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> these are like I get that these are questions to you got to, to answer fall them. in love. Yeah. Keep bringing couple uh, like if you went through these some of these on a like a speed dating thing one it wouldn't be speed dating no there's a lot of questions here. but two some of them i like i not saying that my life is terrible that's not what i'm implying just that i don't necessarily want to talk about the most terrible things yeah yeah, yeah. i know that a lot, lots of people have it worse yes but i know that a lot of people would hear some of the things i can say and some of the things that people i know can say and freak the fuck out yeah. I mean, I suppose that that... But then does that imply... Well, I would think that maybe the person who wrote these didn't think about everything, or the only people that are proper fucked up can be with people who are proper fucked up. Which I don't think is the implication. I'm not saying that that's the implication either. I mean, that's not not... But I mean, yeah, I, I, don't I, don't, I don't think you necessarily have to share your most terrible memory with your... Loved one or partner? No, because I, well, maybe if it's so bad that you don't want to talk about it, it time is a great healer. Blah blah blah. There might yes. come a come a time when it's not. It's still your most terrible one, but you don't need to talk about it. Yes. Um. So you don't have to say everything. You don't have to share everything. It's nice to know that you can. It's also nice to know that you don't have to. If you knew that in one year you would die suddenly, would you change anything about the why you are living now? What a weird question. Because it's not going to stop you from dying. I would have less savings. I don't have many savings. I've so spent a lot of my savings on doing things. I wanted to do a lot this year, and I'm doing a lot this year. Yeah, crack on. And right. I've spent most of them, but I think it's... yeah. I think um, the answer is no. I I because I I'd maybe stop. Ca what I would do, what I would change about the way I'm living. I wouldn't count calories. I wouldn't count calories. I'd probably just stop going to the gym because I know I've got a year and that's it. So actually, yeah, why why waste time in the gym? Because I'm doing that to try and like not necessarily make my life longer, but make like the amount of time that I have being basically healthy longer. That's the goal. So if I know that that isn't going to happen, yeah, I'm going to stop going to the gym. Uh, this is saying, like, yeah, I'm going to do more work for charity. Absolutely fucking not. Um, oh, I didn't think that that's what it was doing. My, Based on the fact that we're reading this at mindbodygreen.com, um, I think, and there's tablets for, like, sleep aid and stuff, I reckon this is going to be uh, implicitly, oh, yeah, no, I'm going to change all my ways. I'm going to be a good Christian and fucking molest children I don't know like um, I think what, the way that I'm looking at it if you if if I peel away the layers of this question please onion, peel away um, essentially if you're going to die in one year 
are you going to change the way you're living now? I would read that as a, are you happy with the way you're living your life at the moment? Yes. Because I know a lot of people would be like, oh, I would start living each day like it was my last. And then you could start wondering why you're not doing that already. That You're going to get burnout, though. Yeah, you are. You're going to be... I mean, I just, I've been thinking an awful lot, like when we said the perfect day one, I think my perfect day would be sleep. And I know that we're saying it's during a 24-hour live stream while there are rejuvenating sleep support pills on the screen. Um, yeah, that's a way to burn out. Yeah. And I... As, it's not... Do lo- it. I would love to not always be on the cusp of burning out but hey so no i guess i wouldn't change the way i live yeah probably like less worrying about stuff probably um yeah i tried to do that i think i tried to worry less which means that i think i should try to worry less now yeah, which no. i'm trying to do working on it but i'm worried that i worry too much uh oh oh no that's genuinely been a wor- that was genuinely yeah a a, th- a thing of mine you just got to try not to what does friendship mean to you? Uh, friendship means never having to say you're sorry. Absolutely fucking not. No, not what, at all. What a crock of shit. Um, no, I think that was love anyway. Um, I think it's somewhere... Friendship is somewhere at the intersection between... Um, taking comfort and solace from someone's presence... Um, and yeah, I mean that's the main thing. Like having people that are objectively more fun to be around than not. Mm. Generally, I mean, like I, like us for example. Like if it's the middle of the night, I would rather you weren't there, other than this live stream. I've got bad news for you in about an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm we're still going to be here. If we're in the pub, it's usually more fun if you're there. Thanks. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, someone that you enjoy being around, someone that enjoys being around you, someone that you can rely on um, for stuff that you need sometimes, I guess. <laughs> um... You know, all of those things. Yeah, I th- I think it's a it's a bit of give and take that you don't mind like yes. It's a uh... Yeah, ga- gaining what was it you said Com- quantum of solace. <laughs> yes, the, qu- the gaining film... the quantum of solace, it's James Bond film... 007 yeah. starring uh, Craig David. Yes. Uh Yeah, you you feeling Good, it just in the presence of someone and you being there for them and them being there for you. He was I reckon. Quantum Solace on Monday. He was Money Penny on Tuesday. He was Moonraker by Wednesday. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, he was Skyfall. Hung out with Q on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Do you know what M is short for? M- Mrs. It's short for mm? <laughs> Friendship to that camera. <laughs> if you want to change the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, my Shit. buddy, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, if if we chat to you in the morning, that's wonderful. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to keep doing this. Um, yeah, bang the bang bang the link. We'll put the press 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 the button and put merch. Exclamation mm, point merch. merch. Spell it properly. Hey, there it is. Um, that's that's the merchy match. Um, uh, what rolls? Take um, care. Sleep well. I had so in to make oh, up for my the, stupid the friendship thing. I I think it's just I don't know. To make up for my stupid, what does mm stand for? Mm. It's a me, Mario. Is what Mario says. Yes. Do you know what it's a me means in uh, Japan? Mario's from Japan. No. Where's Mario from? Well, Japan. No, 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 no. The fucking Nintendo. Japan. Japan. Yes. Okay. It's you, me. 
is Japanese for super. So in Japanese, he says, Itsumi Mario. So it's Super Mario. Super Mario. But it's also Italian, Itsumi Mario. Isn't that the best fact? That's the that's the best fact. That's the that's ah. yeah <laughs> yeah. I think that's the best fact. That's yeah. what friendship means to me. Yes, it's to me. It's to me. Friendship, Mario. Wow. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's pronounced the same way. It's just that in in Japanese it doesn't really sound like he has an Italian accent. It's just like he's saying it's to me. Super Mario. That's fun. It's wicked. Um, what roles do love and affection play in your life? Um, it's easy to gaslight someone if they like you, is what I've found. I wouldn't know. Oh. Wow, that was depressing. Um, yeah, probably, because otherwise they, you'd just be like, no, lying bastard, and walk <laughs> off. Don't be a twat. And they kick you in the shin and steal your purse. I mean, to be fair, sometimes I do that to my friends. Not the <laughs> stealing purse. Oh. All my friends are poor. <laughs> Lovely purse, though. Look at the fine Ooh. stitching. Um, what rolls... <laughs> Larry Vuitton. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Crouton. This might be a fake. Um, what roles... What does that mean? What roles to love and affection? Yeah, I mean... I like to like stuff, and the stuff that I like very much, I love. What the fuck do you... I love potatoes and I'm affectionate towards onions. Like, what do you I want? I mean, if we do it to other people, I think that love and affection can mean different things to one person in many ways. Yeah, this is, but then love is quite a broad word because you have platonic love and then you have, like, dicks and stuff love. Which are two different kinds... Those You've are the two different kinds of love. parental love and hopefully those are separate to both of those. Ideally. Um, eat a pussy. Affection's nice. There's many ways to show affection. <laughs> Affection's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's true. I don't know. What roles do they play? Yes. It's nice. It's comforting. They are both good to have. I think the same thing of like the same thing with friendship and uh, and and stuff. It's, it's comfort. Um, but I don't know what role it would play. Alternate sharing something you consider a positive characteristic of your partner. Share a total of five times. Oh, can I think of five positive characteristics for Liam? I found a way around this, so yes. You want me to go first? <laughs> and you'll just copy them? Nope. Oh. You All right, you go one. first. Uh, I think you have a good sense of humour. Thank you. Um... You are able to look at... You are able to learn things and focus on things and get jobs done. Um, I like that you put up with my sense of humour. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that you're taking things and we're like, oh, that would be good to say, wouldn't no, it? I'm not listening. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say... Come on, you can get to two. I mean, personality is just a lazy one, so I will say sense of humour as well. Okay. Feels like you're copying me. It does feel like um, I'm copying you. I like that you're able to look at things, learn stuff, and get chops. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, okay. I like that um, you pursue things that you enjoy. You don't just sit there and think, ooh, wouldn't it be nice if you actually do them and you acknowledge that doing them actually has a degree of work that you need to put in. So, like, I want to go to holiday to this place. What do I actually need to do that? You don't just mm. think, oh, one day it'll be nice because then you're 80 and you've done nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's why I was like, gonna do stuff this year, yeah. which is why all of my money's gone. <laughs> um, you get cross... Uh, people being dicks. Yeah, do I? <laughs> okay, sure. I mean, I'm possibly shouting about the Tories or whatever, but any, <laughs> but anyone's just uh, yeah, yeah. If people are dicks. You get cross. Yeah, no, that's which yeah. shows that you're a good person. What are we at? Three each, three apiece. I'm gonna say three each. You're very easy to direct. 
You're very good at direct. <laughs> very good That's at direction. Like one for one. Um, you can't spell direction without D erection. You can't misspell direction without D erection. <laughs> Are you very good at spelling? Oh, it just gets floppy. <laughs> um, oh no, it's an innie. Um, Is it your go or mine? Well, it, so you, you said I said oh, you're it, good to direct. You said I'm good at directing. I'm fine if you want to count that one. Oh yeah, let's okay. count that one, and then we got one more. Um, I'm glad that you agreed to do this live stream. Give me another six hours, and I might be. <laughs> I might not be. Uh, you left the shitty job at the school to go freelance, and you made it work, and that's both so far. Brave and impressive. That's what I call my balls. Cool. How are we nearly done? Uh, that's that. Yes, nearly. Oh, We've okay. got like we actually are. 11 questions left. Um, how close and warm is your family? Do you feel your childhood was happier than most people's? Uh, no to both. Not, not very and no. There you go. How do you feel about your relationship with your mother? Not very and no. <laughs> um, um, I, I can, okay, I can, I can be genuine about this. I um, I'm feel like now that I am in my 30s, I understand her more and th like quirks of how she behaves and how we interact. I now actually understand where these quirks are coming from um, and that has made communicating with her quite a lot easier. Uh, when I was a kid I was absolutely dependent on her. Mm -hmm. um, super anxious anytime she wasn't around um, and now I have Laura to latch on to. <laughs> so, uh, initially um, initially entirely reliant and now generally ambivalent. Fair enough. No, she's fine. Done. All right. Um, uh, similar to how you started off. Now that I'm older, I get it a bit. Yes. I I I understand things that I didn't a bit more now that I'm not a teenager or a mentally and emotionally crippled twenty something. Mm. Uh. There is a strange. I mean, yeah, better than it was. We don't shout at each other anymore. There is a very strange thing about parenthood. When you're a kid, you assume that... I think it's it's unspoken, but I think there is an un unspoken assumption that this these people that made me and are essentially in charge of me are doing that, are doing that because they are able to do it, not just because the condom broke or they weren't or, thinking yeah. or... He he talked big about his pull-out game, but actually, <laughs> like you you don't, I think, appreciate that actually they're here entirely through happenstance. Like just, they're just people as they're well. They're just people, and actually, when you when you grow up, I think when you get maybe into your late twenties, you sort of real you see like yourself you catch yourself doing things that your parents do that annoyed you as a kid and you're like oh no so they're just people they're just doing these human things that i do and you can forgive those things that really it's, it's like what i said earlier like uh, like they passed on a lot of anxiety to me and i used to be really resentful about that and now i realize oh no actually it's just because they maybe weren't prepared to have kids mm. and they're just people so like all I need to do with that is, if I have kids, try not to do those same things. But then I'll, I'll get something else wrong. Yeah. Like, they, they may be screwed up on the anxiety side of things, but they, they probably nailed the thing that they were worried about in terms of being parents. If you don't fuck your kids up the way that your parents fucked you up, you will probably fuck them up You'll in find new and exciting ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll find a way. Just try and do it in the smallest way possible. Make three true we statements each. We uh, are both in this room feeling... Garlicky. Oh. Um, Very much feeling the inside of my trousers. We have been friends for near 20 years. 
over 20 years now, I think. Wait. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Because I was, I was drinking... About 20 years. I was drinking in that park when I was 17. Oh, fuck, that's half. That's half. I'm 34. That's half. Yeah. I've known Ben for half. You've known me for half. Oh, wait. Half of all of it. Half. Yes, because... Oh, yeah. I keep... Yeah. Half. That's too much. Um, I've known Cy for more than half. I'm all thinking of nearly, tw nearly 20 years then. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. Uh, that's like seven... Yeah, 17... Oh, that's quite long. I didn't like you for most of that. Who? You. Oh. <laughs> well, we didn't know each other, like... Oh, okay, that's different than not liking me. <laughs> no, you were just a turd, man. I know. It wasn't... What's to know? Probably. Um, no, we just... We we were in each... We, we like... They, we, we was friends of friends. Yeah, yeah. Like, there, there was basically, like... If you weren't a chav in Cambridge or middle class, if you liked, broadly speaking, alternative music and were kind of poor, you, there was this one park that you would hang out on. Um, there's nothing to do. There still isn't really anything to do in Cambridge. But as a kid, you'd sit in this park and you'd get drunk. Some of us would smoke it. Things. Um, and that's where we'd hang out. So, like, we, we didn't really know each other, but, like, we... we we were, we're in, in the same, same circles. And then I think friends of friends became friends of friends and then closer and then eventually yeah. we kind of... I think after so many part being in so many parties together, you yeah. end up chatting. Yeah, yeah. Um, we are doing a live stream. We do a that's podcast. <laughs> well done. Nailed it. I know that that's probably not the point of No, I think we probably question, need to but... through these. Complete the sentence. I wish I had someone with whom I could share... Agreed. If you were going to become a close friend with your partner. If you were going to become a close friend with your partner, please share what would be important for him or her to know. Okay, so partner as in partner in this exercise, not partner as in if you were life become... partner or something. Right, okay. Um, uh, sometimes I will think it would be a silent fart. Sometimes I'll think it's a fart. Oh no. <laughs> you better tie. You better roll your trousers up, buddy. <laughs> These were trousers when I, oh, no, he when I got up this morning. He shot his leggings blew off. the legs off. Tell your partner what you like most about them. Be very honest this time. What do you mean this time? Saying the things that you might not say to someone you've just met. I mean, I feel like we've covered. I think we did that. that. I think I think we did that with the show, the five things, didn't we? I think is it pick one. We can pick one. Uh, those, I like that you like my sense of humour. Those, those five. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, those five. It, it goes fucked, once. Get done, done it. Get fucked. Not Cosmo. I like that we're annoyed with this question. Yeah, fuck this question, fucking Tory. <laughs> Share with your partner an embarrassing moment in your life. Oh God, which one? Uh, you know that I, like, completely tore from V to A of my trousers out whilst safeguarding a trip to the Royal uh, Royal Albert Hall, don't you? Yes. From my V to my A. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, Venus was... to your anus. I did that at 6.30 in the morning. I bent down to pick up a drum. And then I was very still <laughs> until 10 at night. I was always had my back against the wall and my legs close together. Um, it was incredibly embarrassing. Uh, PE one year at school, mm -hmm. uh, we were doing swimming, and you I should too hard. Uh, no, I should have tried on the new pair of essentially speedos. Lovely, the <laughs> lovely. Uh, I wore, and then I would have got different. <laughs> Did someone... not just? I mean, when you're like thirteen, it's not. Did someone think you were a flotation aid? No, it was just unfortunate that, I mean, well, I should have just come out and said, sorry, I've forgotten them, but everyone had gone out first, so I was the last one to come out, and everyone was sat on the benches on the other side of the pool from where the entrance to the changing rooms were. Yes. So I had to come out in a very small pair of Speedos Lovely. in front of all the boys and girls in my in, uh, one or two classes, I think, yeah. 
That yeah, was embarrassing. That's, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Um, when did you last cry in front of another person or by myself? Fucking hell. I think the last time I cried in front of another person would have been when Sammy and I went to go and see The Whale with Brendan Fraser. Because you can cry with laughter. No, because it was fucking sad. Oh. Oh, okay. It's a very sad film. It's oh, a very really? emotional film. Right. It's okay. amazing. Uh, and Brendan Fraser was fucking astounding. Every, or everyone yes. in it was great. It was a really good film. Um... I'm not sure by myself. I, I'm i genuinely not trying to come across as a hard boy. That That is not my... I just don't care. Um, but I genuinely don't know when I last cried. Um, with laughter... Okay, yeah, no, I've, I've remembered with laughter. The, the last time I felt close to crying and again this uh, this is going to sound like I'm deliberately trying to be brilliant but I'm not when we saw the Fellowship of the Ring performed by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra at the Royal Albert Hall the fucking the, the Shire Suite ah oh, just for ah oh. yes that I, I can imagine that so good um, I think it's a combination of um, the the Royal Albert did I say Royal Opera? I meant Royal Albert um the Royal, have you been to the Royal Albert Hall? Yes. I, Lo- I went to go and see venue. Cats. Oh, wicked. Uh, gorgeous venue, like really opulent. So when you're kind of in there, you, you do feel like a like a really grand sense of occasion. I mean, it is fancy as it's fuck. Proper it's proper fancy. It's lovely. Um, and we were also quite high up. And there's something about like y- you can get like... Uh, not quite vertigo, but like if when you're trying to like shuffle around these chairs, and there is just an open void of nothing in front of you that could fucking kill you if yeah. you moved slightly wrong, like that that can that will ruin you a little bit. So it was the combination of like just the opulent surroundings, like the anxiety of being that high up, um, the just the kind of like the uh, the presence and and the volume and the power of the the huge orchestra live and the fact that like all the music from that film is incredibly beautiful mm-hmm. like when the hobbit stuff started off i i i did like well up significantly um and i think the other than the shire music i think my favorite bit of music from that trilogy of films is probably like the um the Edoras theme, like da 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 da. No, uh, da, 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 da. that's the Fellowship theme. The Edoras one is is like a solo violin. Um, if you try to think of the bit where you first see uh, Edoras, and it's like a big helicopter shot of like the wooden buildings, and then I think you see Eowyn and the flag flies off. I don't want to get copyright struck by playing it. Um, hum it. Um. I'm trying to remember it. Oh, it's in it's... Yeah, that ooh. Yes. Ooh, pitchy. <laughs> oh, I'm welling up. <laughs> I'm welling up. Yes, that. Ju- oh, I think that's going to. I genuinely think you and Laura are going to see me fucking bored. Oh, if when they, we see the two towers, we're in going a to go months. and see it in end of September. Yes. Uh, if they do Gollum's song at the end with the lyrics, if it's in the burst. film, they will. It's the credits, so yes, they will. Ah. Oh. <laughs> It's special. Oh, if anyone tries to get up and walk out while they're doing that, I will kick them into the void. The last time... I will cast them into the fire. The last I will destroy time them. I cried with laughter. There is a four... Channel 4 show. Uh, I mean, I did when we went to go and see Game Grumps with... Um, yes, you did. Emu... Jazz emu. Jazz emu. I cried for about 15 solid minutes laughing at that man. That's great. I couldn't hear it. Um, this show is pre- yes. is overall pretty good. There is one bit in it that is ridiculous. 
Um, so the all you really need to know is it's a show about a incredibly religious family, uh, the father of which is the. I guess the main character from si- um, Simon, Simon from in between, in between not, us. Not Simon was the uh, uh, the guy with the briefcase from the in between us. Briefcase wanker from in between us. Thank you. Uh, he's the yes. Laura knows where this is going. He is uh, the father, and there's a bit in it where uh, they're, they're talking about lust and and guilt. Enjoy dinner, Laura. Ta-ra. Captain buddy, bye. Um, they're talking about lust and guilt and gu- guilty pleasures, and he um, he becomes overcome with guilt, and he and he's um, he's clearly very ashamed. He's clearly very, very embarrassed, and this is like a typical religious patriarchal character. Like mm-hmm. he's he's very down on his wife and his his daughter for like being women like, he, for basically being women, and they're very subservient. And he's not so angry with his son because he, it's the son. You know, shit like that. Yeah, that. Um, very complicated relationships, but um, there's a bit where um, he's feeling guilty, and he he takes out this little box and he says to his wife, "This box contains spoilers." By the way, spoilers. This box contains. Um, the the thing of which I I am most ashamed. Uh, this box contains the 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 lustiest, most sinful images I have ever obtained, and I can no longer bear to have it in the house. I'm paraphrasing. I don't remember. Sure. It. I just remember how funny it is. And the woman, and he says, "Please don't look at it." I couldn't bear it if you knew what was in here. Okay. But please destroy it. And I want you to promise me that you're not going to look in it. And then he leaves the room and she opens it. And it's full of the many, many, many women from the Raisin Box. He says lots of raisin boxes just like flattened out. And he's just the same woman like 15 times in various states of wear and tear. <laughs> Fucking destroyed me. I'll be honest, I saw Laura say yep. the raisins bit. Yep. Didn't expect it to go that way. And like, Laura was out of the room when that was playing and she came back in. The TV was paused and I was just crying. <laughs> You <laughs> say so, absolutely watch everyone else burns. You can stop after that bit. The rest is pretty good. That's the best bit. Okay. Absolutely ridiculous. Um. <sighs> so that was the last time that's, I cried that's, that's in front of list. someone. Um. I don't know by myself. Um. I I also don't know. I think some. I think sometimes I just do it from time to time. Like some people might have a nap to like. Yeah, I don't... I, I think sometimes I might just go, uh, we got five minutes. Might have a cry. Gonna have a little cry. I wish That'll I was do. in touch with myself enough to just be like, just let it out. But I've got, I've got... Oh, it's I've not something that I, I couldn't like go and sit in the other room and just go. But there'll be moments when it's just like, a oh. Feeling a bit. Yeah. I don't, I just don't. But, you know, uh, I don't think it's a problem. Um, no. Nah. Tell uh, your partner something you like about them. We did five we of did those. That. We've done it, mate. What if anything is too serious to be joked about? I don't think we could. I'm not. Well, I don't think that there's anything really, but there are things, and I think even just mentioning them on Twitch <laughs> is not a good idea. I think the thing is, what's it de- the intent? It depends of the joke. I think it's the intent. I me. like what Jimmy Jimmy Carr says. Any joke that you have to look over your shoulder before you tell is not a joke you should be telling. No, totally. Sort of if, like a, oh, no, none of them about. If you know what, that there's a particular that... group of people that would be upset by the things you're saying, you should not. Um, but I, th- I think it is in for me. It's intent. It's are you trying? Are you deliberately trying to be hurtful, or is are, are you, you trying to make someone laugh? Are you trying to make everyone laugh? And it's not at anyone's expense, but it happens to be about something that's sensitive. Mm. 
and that's the line that like um we for example have different feelings about Ricky Gervais you rather like him I sort of don't my thing with him is that I I do agree that everything should to an extent be joked about I don't th entirely think that when he makes jokes about trans people for example I don't necessarily think that there aren't victims to those jokes yeah, I get like, generally, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean when I was watching it, when I was watching those, I did sort of go, uh, all right. Yeah, and that's, it's the sort of thing like funny. if if you had like a really great joke that just happened to be about a trans person or a person of color or some other minority, it has to be a really good joke and not have any victims. And then I think it's absolutely fine. But then it's also the place. Th it's where also you're not for me to say. It's also the place where you're telling it. If you yes. don't like, like Jim Jeffries always does jokes, and he's like, it's just comedians are just telling jokes. Yes. Very rarely, yeah. very rarely are people trying to change your minds about no. stuff through a joke. Um, the gun control thing, he says. You know, half of you agree with me. Uh, the other fifty percent. Some of you are laughing along, knowing that it's a joke others have sort of zoned down you know i wonder how they got that chandelier up there and whatever mm. if you don't like if if you, those sort of ricky the jokes that ricky gervais tells are going to offend you you're not going to go to a ricky gervais no, totally. show yeah because that's where the jokes are and if you don't find them funny that's fine yes yeah yeah but you can't uh it is tricky and i think it, it's yeah, yeah. I think there are some things that you are can't like... judge them right when you're reading about them out of context. Or oh, whatever. totally. Yes, they are all jokes. If you don't like them, fine. It is very easy to avoid things. You that need you to know be careful like. of context and stuff. Yes, yeah. and I think there are some things like sensitive issues that, like, if you aren't sure that you've got an absolutely incredible joke that isn't going to offend people, probably just steer away from the topic altogether. Like, there are many, many things that you could make jokes about. That would be perfectly acceptable. You can even find edgy things to do. You can do political humour, which is slightly more edgy. And, like, generally speaking, you're going to be punching up. So that's fine. There are no victims because those victims don't pay tax. Fuck them. Like, um, so I think maybe poverty in 2023. I feel like that's... I don't think that's a taboo exactly, but I think that's something that actually... It's not helpful to joke about. There's quite a lot... Uh, yeah, does it help? <laughs> how does yeah. it help? <laughs> like a grandma asking what your job is. Oh, social media manager, how does it help? <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the media's managed socially. Ah, um, you don't have a fucking clue, do you? <laughs> Shut up, man! Um, mm. So, yeah, I don't think I don't there know, is... I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't think serious is the problem, I think... Yeah. I don't think there's anything too serious to be joked about, but I do think there are a lot of situations where thing where a lot of stuff can't be, and yeah. we are on a platform where not everything can be joked about. Even as jokes, you don't you don't you don't necessarily want to offend yeah, people yeah. when you're just trying to make people laugh. Exactly. Um, if you were to die, oh boy, with no with this evening where well, you'd have well, to hurry up, running out of time, with no opportunity to communicate with anyone, what would you most regret not having told someone? Why haven't you told them yet? Um, there's a few like previous employers I'd really like to flip off. But yeah, I think there's a they couple know of people that I think down. I might want to tell to fuck off. I think but... they know it deep down. Um, if I don't. I don't know if I've all. got. I don't think. I don't think there's. No. Um, no I think I'm, I'm pretty good. up to date. I don't. It's not that I don't believe in regrets. I just don't. If I haven't done it. I can't really want to do it. Also, you know? I would, if you die this evening, what would you most regret? Nothing. Nothing. I'll be, I'll dead. be dead. Living longer. No, I'd still be dead. No, but what I'm saying is what I would regret, regret would be living longer. But my only regret is having bonitis. bonitis. There's, there's new future armour. Did you know there's new future armour? I did. Armor? Not, armor. not seen any yet. Very soon. Your house containing everything you own catches fire after saving loved ones and pets. You have... Time to safely make a final dash to save any one item. What would it be? Why? 
I think this is all insured. Um, I got this. I got this. Is is it's it's a bear, right? But he's dressed as a duck. And he's got like a hood on, and you can pull the hood back, and you can see he's a bear. You can pull the hood on, you can still see he's a bear. He's pretty cool. Um, the carpet. Because that would take the longest to remove, thereby giving the fire fighters chance to get here. I love the idea that like the house is on fire, you walk in and you go, no, no, fire! Wait, <laughs> I'm allowed to take one thing before you destroy it all. No, I was thinking like, and you I'm going to take trick, my time. That trick in restaurants where waiters like yeet the t cloth out from under and everything's <laughs> there, just like <laughs> <laughs> just everything's where it is. You're just holding the entire car like, ah. Oh, I sort of hoped that would take... <laughs> yeah, I thought ah, that would take longer. Oh, well. Never mind. Every carpet. Um, <laughs> Yay, it's beige. Uh, PS5. PS5, fine. I mean, other everything else, like loved ones and pets, then basically, what is your most prized... Yes. Like, what is your most prized... Um, what's the word I'm looking possession. for? Possession. Material possession, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I would probably say PlayStation, because that has... Uh, the memory that's got the hard drive in, so that's all of the hours of time I've spent yeah. on games and stuff, yeah. which I think is all probably backed up onto the cloud or whatever, but yeah. I'd say PlayStation. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust the cloud. Of all the people in your family, whose death would you find most disturbing? My answer is Mine. the same. i got this bear that, like, he's got, <laughs> it's got his head, right? So he looks like a duck. But crucially, he's still a bear. He um, doesn't have flippers. Uh, my own. Yes, you are related to you. That would probably be the one that ju that would dis dis disturbing. disturb my life most. Disturbing. I mean, I know that everyone's going to die. If it, I suppose okay. it, it would either have to be a parent or one of the the much younger relatives. This to question, as it's be asked, disturbing. This question, as asked, is supposed to make you go, "I'm really close with my father, and here's why." That's what it wants you to do. I'm the youngest in uh, of of my immediate blood relations, so I would say um, the, the the person who is closest to me in age is my younger cousin. Uh, she's she's nearly a full year older than me. That would be the most disturbing because that would be very close to my age, and I'd go, "Why well, need to fucking not die then?" So mm -hmm. there you go. So that the thing is, you've used the word disturbing, my, not which, upsetting. No, yeah, disturbing makes me think of like, oh well, oh it would be Nan if she's cut to yeah. bits by an axe murderer. Yeah, exactly. It would be the, the the manner in which they die that would be upsetting. So like, uh, upsetting would be my parents or my brother, obviously. Disturbing is different. Disturbing would be the person who is closest to my own age, my younger cousin. Because like, well, fuck, what happened? Yeah, there? on on that, I, I would probably uh, some family members have just had kids, so right. probably them. Yeah. Because like babies, or, oh, shit. or yeah, there just, are children. Like Grab there's there's kids. That would be it. Um, actually, no. Yeah, you're right. No, it would be it would be the kids. Um, both my cousins have kids. Because that's just extra sad, isn't it? Yeah. Our side of the family, we ain't, we ain't doing no fucks. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not a one. Um, Share a personal problem and ask your partner's advice on how he or she might handle it. Also, ask your partner to reflect on how you seem to be feeling about the problem you have chosen. Right, now, I do a podcast with this absolute prick. Mm -hmm. How do I tell him that I love him? I think you're in denial. <laughs> I think which bit? I think you know full well this is a live stream and not a podcast. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say I was doing it right now. Horny goat. Um, I don't know, man. Like maybe just keep it bottled up. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. But what... I don't have any personal problems. I'm fine. Um, I've also been like thinking about this live stream for two weeks. Like, once this is over, I'll be able to go right. What's actually wrong in my life? Um, I have said to Sammy several times. Uh, Sammy's my buddy who I'm staying with. Uh, hello, I think she's watching. Hi. Um, whilst between houses on the move to Norwich. Oh, um, three, three two, two, one. Two, two horny. horny.
Oh, we went different. You went game show, I went. And the crime was. <laughs> too high. Um, um, yeah, I was, I was saying to Sammy the other day, like, I'm so looking forward to Sunday. Right. Because this, yeah, this is the biggest thing, or, well, not the biggest thing, but this is the pretty big. nearest thing that has the most work and commitment for a while. Yes, I think absolutely. the next thing, I mean, obviously the moving house, but that's not one thing. That yeah. is a big thing, but that's lots of little bits making up yes. the whole moving. And seeing that, making that list and seeing all of the things just get knocked off it is quite nice. Totally. This, so on Sunday, I will send like the last couple of emails I think that I need to send. And I will, and this will be done. This, yes. this will be, our merch has come out. We, like, did, yeah. we did the shoot. That was a lot of work. The organisation uh, designs and everything. Yeah, um, we need to talk about that. Really, it's the culmination of a lot of work. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to Sunday because then I will be able to have Monday and Tuesday of essentially doing fuck all and having hopefully a perfect day where I can sit down, not do anything, and pretty much no jobs turn up that yeah. I have to. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing that I have to go. Okay, now I have to spend a few hours doing this. Um, I I truly don't have personal problems at the moment i'm good like um and actually like the the few things in terms of workload i think we talk about like especially in terms of podcasts like i normally tell you if there's a thing i'm struggling with and then either we come up with a solution or we don't like you know we i think we're pretty open about that sort of thing i think we've done it i think we've done it are we in love now i mean no more so Ah. Same Z's, I reckon. 